Hi, I want to show you today how to solve the equation 10x minus 6 equals 14. I know that my job in solving this equation is to figure out what number could go in for x so that the equation is true. The first thing I have to do is figure out what are the operations happening to x in my equation. And I see that x is being multiplied by 10 and then subtracted by 6. So I know when I solve this equation, I'm going to have to undo those two steps. To do that, at some point, I will divide by 10 and I will add 6. And that's how I solve this equation. The first thing I'm going to do, because I go in sad map order, is add 6 to both sides of the equation. I like to draw a line straight down from my equal sign to show where the equation is balanced and so that I know which sides I have to work with. So I'm going to add 6 on both sides, lining up that plus 6 with the constant term in my equation. Now I see what I have left. So when I add 6 to the left-hand side, the subtraction of 6 and the addition of 6 cancel each other out. So I'm just left with 10x. And that is going to balance with what happens when I add 6 on the other side. 14 plus 6, that's 20. So I'm done my first step. The next thing that I said I would do is divide by 10. So I'm going to take both sides of my equation and divide by 10. When I've done that, on the left-hand side, I'm just left with x. 10x divided by 10 is just 1x. And on the other side of the equation, 20 divided by 10 is 2. So I've solved my equation, and I came up with a number, 2, that should be the answer, should be the number that balances my equation. But to check myself to make sure I did it right, I'm going to take this solution and I'm going to plug it back into my equation, 10x minus 6 equals 14. That means that in my equation, I'm going to replace x with my solution 2. If I simplify this expression and this side equals 14, then I know I did it right. So 10 times 2 is 20, minus 6, that's 14. So I know that I did it right and the solution to my equation is x equals 2.